In this problem, we're going to find the integral of x times the cosine of 5x dx. So in this problem, we're going to be using integration by parts. And so when you use integration by parts, you have to decide what's going to be u and what's going to be dv. So these are what we're going to have to decide first. And so generally, if you have an x by itself, that's what you're going to set equal to u. So in this case, u is just going to be equal to x. And then dv is just the rest of your function. So it's just going to be the cosine of 5x dx. And so remember the formula that we use when using or solving by integration parts. It's equals u times v minus the integral of v times du. So this is the formula we use when solving. And so what we're going to want to do is find v and find du, right? Because we need them to solve this formula. So we have to find du and we have to find v. So what is du? du is just going to be the derivative of u and u is equal to x. The derivative of x is just 1. And then we have to have dx after, so essentially du equals dx. And then what's v? So v is going to be the integral of the cosine of 5x. So cosine of 5x. And so you can solve this using u substitution, but it's easier to think through it, I think. But I'll just show you how to do it using u substitution. So we're going to set u equal to 5x. du is just going to be 5 dx. And then dx is just equal to du over 5. So essentially, it's just going to be the integral cosine of u times du over 5. And so we can just take this 5, put it out front, 1 over 5 times the cosine of u du. And then now we take uh, the integral of this, right? And then it's just going to become 1 over 5 times the sine of u because the derivative or the integral of cosine is just sine. And then what we got to do is add u back in. So 1 over 5 times the sine of 5x. So that's going to be the integral of dv, which is going to give us v. And so what we can do is just write that back in. So it's going to be 1 over 5 times the sine of 5x. And so generally when you do these, uh, so we solved it using u substitution, but you got to get good at enough where you're able to just look at it and then think about a function whose derivative is this, right? And you can check this too, right? The derivative of sine is cosine, cosine 5x, and then you multiply by the derivative of the inside. 5 times 1 over 5 is just going to be 1. So that's just showing it. And so now we've got this. What we can do is just plug in. So equals u, which is x, times v, which we just found is 1 over 5, times the sine of 5x minus the integral of v, which is the same thing times du, and we know du is just dx. So essentially to solve this integral, we just got to find the integral of this now, right? So it's going to be, I'm going to combine this, right? So it's going to be 1 over, or x over 5 times the sine of 5x minus, and then so now I'll take the integral of this, and so you can use u substitution again, or you can think through it. I'm going to show you u substitution. So set u equal to 5x, right? Actually, let me rewrite the integral. 1 over 5 times the sine of 5x dx. So u is going to equal 5x. du is 5. And then 5 dx, my bad. Divide both sides by 5 so we can get dx. Right, so du over 5. So it's going to be 1 over 5 times the sine of u du over 5. So if we take this out front, right, 5 times 5 is 1 over 25. So it's going to be equal to the integral, 1 over 5, or 1 over 25, my bad. 5 times 5 is 25, times the sine of u du. The derivative of sine is going to be minus cosine. So it equals minus 1 over 25 times the cosine of u. Uh, and then that's that. But then we got to plug in what we set u as, right? So really the integral of this is minus 1 over 2. 25 times the cosine of 5x, right? So plug this back in. This was our integral. So minus 1 over 25 times the cosine of 5x, right? Now it's going to become positive, so x over 5 times the sine of 5x minus minus positive, and then 1 over 25 times the cosine of 5x, and then don't forget whenever you take an integral, you have to add plus c, right? So plus c, 
So your final answer is x over 5 times the sine of 5x plus 1 over 25 times the cosine of 5x plus c. So this right here is your final answer, and hopefully you found this useful.